episode five of the empty bottle reviews as always once i finish four bottles of whiskey i like to come on here talk about them a little bit and say whether or not i would buy them again so with that let's jump right into the first one with the blue spot seven year old now this is uh batch one of the blue spot seven bottle of cash strength and aged in a variety of casks uh, with some 19 year old Madeira cask matured whiskey in here. This is really an outstanding whiskey. The problem with this is the secondary market prices. Most liquor stores around here are going to be charging three to four hundred dollars for this and for that price absolutely not worth it. If you can find this for under hundred and fifty dollars I would say this is a pretty good buy. This is a really nice, bold, rich whiskey, one that I really enjoyed um, and one that I actually have a couple of backups of on my shelf you can see right behind me, but I was able to get those ones for around $100. So if you can find it for $150 or less, I think this is worth it, even with the young age statement. There's much older whiskey in here and it really delivers a rich, nice drinking experience. Again, that is the Blue Spot 7. Next up is the Compass Box No Name Number One. This was a limited edition Compass Box from 2017, bottled at 48.9% and contains 75% 13-year-old Ardbeg whiskey. This is a whiskey that I absolutely love, one that will be tricky to find nowadays just because it did come out in 2017, but I did actually just find a couple on the shelf in Long Island a few months ago and of course I bought two of the three that were remaining so I do have a couple of backup of this for around $120 this is a no-brainer this delivers a beautifully peated uh, well-rounded drinking experience um, the filler is uh, Ardbeg 13 with some Kalila I believe just overall an excellent whiskey one that if you find on the shelf for 150 or less I would highly recommend that is the no name number one. Next up is the Port Charlotte 10 year old. This one is uh, 10 years old, bottled at 50% and uses a variety of cast maturations, um, including bourbon, sherry, red wine. Overall, this is a really, really nice whiskey and a very good price at around $60. This is absolutely worth it. Um, this one I drank through quicker than I expected to. Uh, when I first opened it, my first few pours were just so-so, but as this oxidized a little bit in the bottle, or maybe my palate changed, I ended up liking it more and more as I drank down the bottle. For $60, this is one of the better entry-level peated whiskeys from the Brooklady Distillery. Highly recommend this. Definitely worth a buy at $60 or less. And finally, my most recent bottle kill was the Red Breast. 21 year old bottled at 46 percent matured in a combination of x bourbon and x sherry casks this is a really really nice whiskey complex layered very soft on the palate an easy sipper i really enjoyed this one but would i buy this again at the u.s prices no i'm not spending 200 to 250 dollars on this bottle of whiskey for me it's not worth it especially when I can get a similar experience and maybe even a better experience with their 12 year old cast strength. But if I saw this for sale abroad, which it tends to be a little bit cheaper for the 160 ish dollar range, I would be very tempted to buy another bottle of this. This is one that's accessible to all palettes, beginners and advanced palettes, and just a people pleaser in general. So if you can find this one abroad for 160 uh, or thereabout, I would definitely recommend this one. That is the Red Breast 21. So with that, those are my most recent bottle, empty bottles, and I will be back shortly with my next four. I've already got one empty bottle in the waiting, so once I have three more done, I will be back with episode six. As always, thank you for tuning in. If you liked what you saw, like, comment below, and I will see you next time. Take care.